then we do a uh, then we deal another two cards and those are those are face down and this is another chance for these two to uh, to bet or to announce Kaisers uh, oh there's a Kaiser so he probably uh, that's the Kaiser of uh, shield, so that's uh, uh, an overbeater. So um, probably would announce that one. He, he doesn't need to. Um, he doesn't need to show. I didn't. Doesn't need to announce what Kaiser it is. Just need to say Kaiser. Uh, and so because we've already uh, announced uh, the top one, we're probably going to accept that one. Um, and let's say that he just announces that a Kaiser for one point. Uh, so. You, you would show that on the uh, on here by by that um, okay um, and it's, so, so we've accepted one point so the game, game value is now eight four for the board for the board plus the three for the for the curly thing across the bottom the first Kaiser announced plus another another one so that's eight game value so, so far and let's say they're feeling a bit bold and they say Actually, so you've said yes to the one point rise, so we're going to say we're actually going to take it all the way to the three point rise. Then, what we would do is we would um, attempt to rub out that little hook thing and um, put it all the way across. So, that's a three point Kaiser basically. So, that's taking the game value to nine. What about us? Oh my goodness. So we've got yet another Kaiser. That's the uh, the Vudli, the, uh, the, uh, the the bot the lowest the lowest ranking trump, the lowest underbeater. Um thinking uh, you know what, haven't got any more shields uh, shields in our hand. Um maybe 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 we my my, my partner thinks I'm not gonna announce that one, so that that card is actually not going to be worth anything in play, so you'll probably just discard it. Uh, so, then, then the next two cards go to eat to me to, to to my left hand opponent and and myself, and and similarly they look at their hands. Oh, there's the yours, the jack of jack of uh, so the under under of trumps. So that's a, that's a that's a, a very valuable trump king beater. And what have I got? Uh, oh, rubbish! Two and three of two and three of acorns. Not very good. Okie dokie. Um, so there's again. So there's been another pause there for any uh, any any Kaiser announcements which there that there weren't and 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 any betting. I should have said that when in this it once the cards are being dealt face down, uh, the Kaisers don't need to be announced immediately. So actually, the players could just wait to see what happens with the rest of their hand, and then announce the Kaisers. So the only point when the Kaisers need to be announced immediately is during those first four face up cards. Okay, and then there's another four cards dealt to each player in batches of two each. Um, again, obviously anti clockwise. So two, two. Two, two, and then last batch two each. And so then what happens is each player picks up the seven cards in total that they've been dealt, so six face down and one face up into their hand and they discard any two of their cards face down and so each of us is left with five cards in our in our hand so let's have a look at the four hands and see which of the two cards each uh, each player would probably discard and not not bother playing with so remember, remember shields are trumps uh, so looking from right to left on this hand um, my my right hand opponent has a pretty a lowly five of flowers which you might think, well, why would they not want to keep that when it's not a trump and it's very low? Well, um, in a in a in a process that I'll, that I'll tell you about later, um, he's been signalled to by his partner that his partner has the king of flowers, and so because he'll probably want to lead flowers to his to his to his partner, so that his partner has a chance of winning the trick with the king of flowers, he would definitely keep his only flower. Then to the left of the flowers, there are two trumps. There's the Banner of 
spell, Banner of Shields rather, which is not a trump because it's a shield, it's a trump because it's um, a banner and it was announced earlier, and that's an oak beater. And then there's a six of shields, which is a king beater, one of the top row of trumps. So definitely keep those two trumps. And then you've got three kind of, or two middling, um, so a, a, a bell, so an over and under and then a, and a low uh, bell. And then the king, the king of shields, uh, which which is, remember, not, a, even though it's in the trump suit, it's not a trump, it's a, it's, but it is a king. So it's a, so it is a powerful card. Uh, and particularly if, if this player can get on lead and lead it, at least uh, as a minimum, it would, at a very minimum, it would draw out a king beater trump. And you never know, it might go around. So definitely keep the king, uh, definitely keep the flowers, definitely keep the two trumps, which probably means getting rid of the lowest two bells. Under a seven. Okay, so that's that player. My partner. Um, so actually it turns out my partner has the other, the, the other non-trump shield, which is the over. Um, and also has the over of... Um, of flowers uh, and then come the lovely row of trumps so starting with the lowest lowest underbeater the voodly the banner of, of acorns then uh, the two of shields which is uh, one of the king beaters uh, and the the mug the, the banner of bells which is the top king beater and, and top top trump in the pack uh, ignoring the, 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 the seven um, and and then I've got a king and a, a king of bells and a four of bells. So that's pretty pretty strong hand. Um, I definitely wouldn't get get rid of any trumps. Probably get rid of the, the low bell, and uh, one of the overs. Uh, so because my partner uh, hasn't signaled to me that they've got the king of shields, uh, I will get rid of the over of shields. So I'm I'm. I'm his partner, and I haven't signaled to him that I've got the King of Shields. All right? So I wouldn't want to be leading that just in case my opponent's got it. And I may even have spotted the signal that they do have it. I'll tell you about that later. Okay, so now my left-hand opponent, what have they got? Uh, so they've got the, the Under of Shields, which is a, which is a King Beater, that's nice. He's got the King of Flowers, which he signaled to his partner, so that's uh, he's obviously, obviously going to keep that. Uh, got got a load of rubbish uh, elsewhere, uh, so it has a, a, a wide choice of, of possible discards. But probably keep one, try and keep a, a card in each suit, just in case um, it looks like his partner's got a high card in that suit at some point in the game, and he might want to lead it to his partner. Um, so maybe he would... Um, well, let's let's get rid of an a, a low acorn and a low uh, a low bell. Leaving those five cards. Okay. And then there's myself, the dealer. Um, so I've got a five of shield, which is a, a king beater. So that's a strong trump. Uh, I'll definitely keep uh, the king of acorns, which I've um, which I've signalled or should have signalled to my my partner. Um, who unfortunately hasn't got any any acorns. I need the banner of acorns, and of course that's not an acorn. That's effectively a trump. A king. Uh, it's a um, underbeater. So um, my rest of my hand is pretty shocking. Um, doesn't really have any merit, but thankfully I do have some bells, and I I I should have received a signal from my partner that he's got the king of bells. So I'll definitely keep one of those bells. I might get rid of another one. So let me get rid of a low bell and uh, a low, well, they're all low. One of my low acorns. Okay, so that's us ready. Um, now, before we start playing, and in fact, at any time from including the very very first face up cards that were were placed uh, that were that were dealt face up any player at any point and this includes during the play of the cards and just before you were about to play a card just after you've won a trick just before you about to, you think you're about to win a trick one side may announce spiel 3 
which means uh, literally play three, uh, which basically raises the value of the game by a further three points. Uh, so uh, let's assume that um, my partner um, up here was feeling particularly bullish given their hand, hadn't, hadn't seen the rubbish in my hand, but actually I do have a king as well, so that's, that's pretty good. So be between that and what was the signaling between us, we may well have thought that actually, look, this game is winnable. Um, so in order to win the game, we need at least three, um, three to five tricks. So actually we might, my partner might actually bid Spiel 3, at which point um, the opponents, our opponents have a choice. They can, they, can, they can just fold at that point, in which case we would pick up the um, four plus, what is it? Four plus three uh, plus three, which is 10 points for this game. So four base value plus the three for the hook, which is the first Kaiser announced, plus, um, three for the for the second guys were announced uh, so we basically score that or if it, let's let's assume they're feeling bold and possibly reckless and they accept this bid uh, then that raises the game value by another three points in which case I would I would put um, another Kaiser this way I think to show that that's ours um, and so we've got a 13-point game on the cards.